Hey everybody, my name is Mehti and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna draw and render this elevation completely in Photoshop. So if you're interested in architecture digital drawing, don't miss this video. And to support us, please like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you and let's get started. Okay, I start with the sketching. No matter you're using which brush because it's just a sketch and doesn't be shown in the final result. If you don't comfortable to sketch using pen tablets, you can also sketch in a paper, then scan it and import it to Photoshop. As I said, this isn't my concept art and this isn't my work, but take a look at proportions and nice geometry that designer have been used. You can hash the shadows or any other techniques to get your concept more three-dimensional. Okay, now select pen tool, change it from path into shape, select your main color and start to draw the shapes one by one in different layers. Well, after drawing all shapes, now it's time to draw shadows and lights. So select my custom brush, pick a darker red color and start to paint on layers one by one. We need to create a gradation on each layer. Lighter near the light source and darker far from that. Here the light source is the sky. You can also select each layer by holding control button and click on the layer. Anytime you need your sketch, you can turn it on by hitting the eye icon beside the layer. Well, in this step, I'm gonna start to draw the edge and define them by a hard round brush. So select it and pick a very dark color and start to draw the edge. Here I prefer to apply a texture on these red surfaces. So I choose this brush and start to paint. Try to paint the brush parallel to each other. Also you can use any other brushes or textures. Use R button to rotate the screen so you can draw the lines better. Here I'm gonna draw inside the buildings. So choose lasso tool and try to select the empty area. I want just to draw the lights and we need no more details from the inside. So create a palette of yellow color, dark to light and start to paint with my custom brush. Here I'm using my textured brush to define it better. As you see, it's not a photorealistic render image, so you can use any artistic way to create your own concept art. Okay, now I invert my selection and I start to paint the reflection of inside lights on the surfaces.
Here again, I'm using the same textured brush. Now let's head back to frames and try to get them darker. To draw inside walls, pick a lighter red color on my custom brush and start to paint them. At the end we have to paint highlights. Highlight is so important and makes your artworks looks great. Apply them on the edge and glassy surfaces. Here I'm gonna import a street footage right in front of our building. Change the scale and put it in the right place. Decrease the opacity and erase the extra part. Here I want to draw a small side back. So create a layer under the street layer. Then start to paint it with a gray color. After that create a level adjustment layer mask and clip it to a street by hitting alt button. Then increase darkness on this layer. After that hit control I button to invert this process and with a soft round brush start to apply shadows and lights well now I'm gonna draw side buildings you don't need to spend a lot of time to draw them or draw a lot of details we just need them to create a good atmosphere for our concept I just drawn them with a single brush so create your palette pick a brush and start to paint Here I prefer add some cars to the street. To do that just search on the internet for PNG cars and import them into your scene. Then fix the scale of cars and put them in the right place. Now I'm gonna fade the car by using blur filter. After that apply shadows and lights to that just like the street. Clip an empty layer to the street layer. Then pick my custom brush with a low opacity and after that I start to paint reflections. Here I prefer to add some highlights to the car. Now continue doing highlight job. After that, add some figure to the scene just using black color. Here I add another car and do the same jobs to that again. Also you can create its reflections by duplicating the layer. Then transfer it vertically and decrease the opacity.
At the end, in background layer, I'm gonna draw the sky. Just select the area with lasso tool and I start to paint with my custom brush. Also, I'm gonna create some videos about drawing different types of sky soon. So please like the video and share it with your friends. It's gonna really help us. Thank you and bye for now.